Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the coolest, most powerful, or overall iconic attacks from the Dragon Ball franchise. No, say goodbye to them and... Number 20, Final Explosion. When Majin Buu threatened the fate of humanity, Vegeta pulled all his power into one uber powerful final strike. It's so powerful, in fact, that it takes the Saiyan down too. That's a high price to pay, but Vegeta's sacrifice made it one of his greatest moments in the original series. And so, one of the Earth's greatest warriors has vanished in a blinding flash of light, having made the ultimate sacrifice for the sake of his loved ones. Plus, it isn't quite as final as its name implies. Thanks to the Dragon Balls, Vegeta lived through his first heroic goodbye. Then, when Super rolled around, he'd grown strong enough to survive the explosion all on his own. Vegeta's vastly more powerful now than he was the last time he used that technique against Majin Buu when it cost him everything. Blowing yourself up isn't always a good tactic in battle, but clearly, it's damn effective. Number 19, Energy Weapons. <laughs> It's common sense to never bring a sword to a beam fight. The only exception is, of course, when that sword is made of key too. Over the years, Dragon Ball has spiced up its hand-to-hand -hand combat with the introduction of all sorts of psionic weapons. There's blades, shields, knives, and at one point, a scythe. You have Goku, Black, and Zamasu to thank for most of them. You can't get through Samasu's defenses, and you have no answer for my offensive might! While they weren't the first to try out key-based accountments, they definitely take the crown where style is concerned. Villainy has never looked so cool. Number 18, Death Beam. Leave it to Freezer to cut right to the chase. Instead of an over-the-top name, his Death Beam does exactly what it sounds like. It kills people, usually with a single standard key attack. But what it lacks in flair, it makes up for in sheer effectiveness. There's not many people, saying or not, who have seen a death beam and live to tell the tale. Well, what are you waiting for? If you're entertaining any hope of survival, then you had better run. <laughs> Given Frieza's propensity towards sadism, this technique might have the highest main character death toll in all of Dragon Ball. Though, considering its straightforward name, that's hardly surprising. Did I offend your delicate sensibility? Hey, that's enough! Number 17, Candy Beam. There's no need to sugarcoat this one, it's already sweet enough. With a candy beam, Majin Buu turns people into dessert and then eats them whole. Oh, yes! Yes! Who wants candy? In a franchise full of iconic moves and high-stakes battles, this sugary attack stands out on creativity alone. It sounds juvenile, but the candy beam is surprisingly effective too. Not even the Demon King Deborah could resist becoming a chocolate bar. What a tasty performance! <laughs> And unless you feel like fighting your way through Boo's digestive system, it's completely lethal. Really, the only way to truly avoid the candy beam is to make sure Boo isn't hungry. Number 16, Tri Beam. <laughs> Tri Beam! Tien's attacks may not seem all that impressive compared to Namekians, androids, or Super Saiyans. But no matter how big the gap in power levels gets, his Tri-Beam Cannon is the greatest equalizer. Fittingly, there's three main reasons why. It's cool, it's overpowered, and it's got one hell of a track record. Particularly in Z. When Semi-Perfect Cell mopped the floor with everyone, Tien's Tri-Beam single-handedly pinned him down long enough for the others to escape. Why are you still here? Get out of here right now! <laughs> Unfortunately, using it that much has a massive toll on Tien's body. But as long as he gets the job done, it's a trade worth making every single time. Number 15, Big Bang Attack. 
You've got to give the Prince of Saiyans credit for one thing, he sure knows how to come up with a sick name. But don't worry, the Big Bang attack has the punch to back it up. The first time Vegeta showed it off, he unleashed a blast so powerful, it proved that androids do feel fear after all. Here it comes! A little going away present for you! <laughs> and he only needed one hand to do it. Since then, the concentrated burst has become one of Vegeta's go-to finishing blows. Turns out it's just as effective against gods, monsters, and multiversal robots. Keep Big Bang Attack! Oh, At this rate, Vegeta may never retire the Big Bang Attack. Number 14. Solar Flare Granted, this attack isn't what you would call lethal, but it doesn't mean it isn't damn effective. How's this for cloning? Solar flare! First used by Tien, this attack has been implemented by multiple other fighters, including Goku, Krillin, and even the villainous Cell. Solar flare! By unleashing a fierce burst of light, the user essentially blinds their opponents and everyone else in the immediate vicinity and as such, potentially turns the tide of battle. Hey, if it can put a stop to Vegeta in his great ape form, who are you to judge? Solar Flare! Oh! Number 13, Masenko. <laughs> Originally created by his tutor Piccolo, the Masenko was taken by Gohan, and he certainly made it his own. Masenko! Huh? <laughs> Gohan? <laughs> A double-palmed key blast, this stinger has worked surprisingly well against those pesky filler villains, the Spice Boys. But that's not to discount its worth, as this multi-generational technique was good enough to be handed down to both Gohan's pupil, Trunks, and his daughter, Pan. Masenko! Number 12, Evil Containment Wave. Huh? Is a nasty demon ruining your day? Not got the physical chops to take him down by traditional means? Don't mind throwing away your life in the process? Well, how about putting the bugger into a rice cooker or jar or something like that? The evil containment wave successfully trapped King Piccolo. Open the jar! Yes, despite its varying results, the Mafuba has a lot more impact than a lot of the go-tos of the series. Originally brought in to seal away Demon King Piccolo, it disappeared for a good few years, but made a glorious return in Super as Trunks attempted to seal away the immortal jerk Zamasu. <laughs> Number 11, Super Ghost Kamikaze Attack. <laughs> Do I scare you? Yeah, it's weird, but then again, this move was used on a creature that turned people into candy. If you mess with the ghost, ghost you'll, you'll be toast! toast. Yeah. <laughs> After perfecting their fusion, it turned out that Goten and Drunks had more than a few special moves under their belts to use on the likes of Martian Boo. The most awkward yet effective was when he coughed up a sentient ghost version of themselves, who exploded on contact. This took us all for a loop, but it still managed to do its job by blowing Boo to tiny pink pieces. See ya! <laughs> And this attack must have impressed Boo since he uses it himself later on. Ah! 
Number 10. Final Kamehameha Goku has the Kamehameha, Vegeta has the Final Flash, so it only makes sense that their fusion, Vegito, would use a combination of them both. Introducing the Final Kamehameha, it's twice the firepower for half the beams. As if seeing Goku and Vegeta fuse wasn't exhilarating enough, having them combine their iconic techniques is a whole other level of awesome. The fact that it's been used so sparingly thus far just makes it feel all the more special. It ensures that when Vegito does whip out the final Kamehameha, you know you're in for a good time. Be perfect in hell! <gasps> Number 9. Stardust Breaker Gogeta's trademark finishing blow has a tendency to leave enemies in the dust. Literally. Janemba was seemingly unbeatable, but after one run-in with the Stardust Breaker, he melted quicker than you can say Kamehameha. <laughs> he even turned into sparkles afterwards just to really rub it in. Brawly fared a bit better, but either way, you can always count on Gogeta's flashy finisher to put on a dazzling show. Still, what makes this attack so memorable is that it isn't a rip-off of something that came before. No, this is a Gogeta original, and it's all the better for it. Number 8. Dragon Fist Who needs a beam struggle? All Goku needs to win is his fists and a running start. His determination takes care of the rest. Time for your terror to end! On the surface, this looks just like your average punch with a bit of a wind-up. But as soon as Goku takes to the sky, the dragon imagery makes it clear this is something special. Suffice it to say, the Dragon Fist has definitely earned its place in the franchise's history books. King Piccolo and Super 17 certainly think so. Super Dragon Fist! Of course, it doesn't hurt that the Dragon Fist never starts a fight, it just ends them. Number 7. Destructo Disc Destructo Disc! Oh, Krillin. You're the universe's favorite punching bag, but against all odds, you keep on moving forward. But hey, you've got a hot android wife and a signature move all your own, so things can't be all that awful. Forming a circular disc out of pure ki, this attack may have been replicated by several DBZ villains, to greater effect we might add, but we'll always associate this technique with Krillin over anyone else. Even if the best thing he's ever done with it is cut off Freezer's tail. <laughs> Number 6. Gallic Gun Back when Vegeta was a destroyer of worlds, this was the deadliest attack in his arsenal. Considering it managed to bring the Kamehameha to a stalemate, that is saying a lot. Gallic Gun! We certainly don't see much of it in Z outside a singular beam struggle against Goku, but given just how iconic that scene is, not to mention the fact it nearly blew up the planets, we have to give this technique props. This signature move would later become a mainstay in Super, even added to the arsenal of Trunks. Number 5. Hakai There may have been a lot of powerful techniques out there, but this is the only real one-hit KO in all of Dragon Ball. Hakai is the manifestation of a destroyer god's energy, and as such, it can obliterate quite literally anything it touches, even deities themselves. Hakai. If they aren't safe, then there really is no limit to what Hakai can do. 
So maybe it's for the best that only destroyers like Beerus are capable of harnessing its strength. If Top's time in the Tournament of Power proves anything, it's that there's no real way to beat Hakai. All you can do is cross your fingers and delay the inevitable. Oh man, so he can cut through the ring like butter and make himself freaking invincible? Number 4. Special Beam Cannon Hey, it killed Goku, a special enough for us. While Piccolo certainly has no shortage of unique key-based blasts at his disposal, it's this energy weapon that has stuck with him the most throughout the entire series and served him rather well in the process. Special Beam Cannon! While it may not look as impressive as some of the wider key blasts, it was strong enough to cut through both Goku and Raditz, and has managed to at least wound several foes afterwards. It was also one of Imperfect Cell's preferred copied moves, so that must count for something. Number 3. Spirit Bomb Once upon a time, if you were Goku's opponent and you ended up facing this technique, then you were history. Most notably used to defeat a good number of DBZ movie villains, this collection of the planet's energy resulted in the creation of a colossal sphere that decimated everything it touched. No, that's impossible! Sure, the waiting time can be a real pain, and particularly strong foes like Freezer have managed to withstand its force, but that doesn't take away the fact that with enough borrowed energy, this sphere can crush anything. Just ask Kid Boo. <laughs> Number 2 Final Flash. The most powerful attack that Vegeta has at his disposal, this golden explosion of energy became just as synonymous with him as the Kamehameha is to Goku, and boy is it a spectacle. Its greatest moment was, of course, when Vegeta unleashed this beauty against the newly formed Perfect Cell and it practically blew half his body to hell. I know Flash! No! The fact that Cell regenerated right after doesn't take away just how devastating an attack it is, and it's one truly worthy of the Prince of Saiyans. Uh, uh, now if you really want to test your strength, stay right where you are! Uh! Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Kamehameha Which one of you thought anything else would top this list? It's the freaking Kamehameha! Since the early days of Dragon Ball, this attack has stuck with Goku through thick and thin, probably more than Chi Chi, bringing down the likes of alien tyrants, killer androids, and whatever the hell Majin Buu was. The stronger that Goku gets, you can bet that this icon of Japanese culture will only grow in size and scope with him. And don't pretend that you haven't practiced it in your own time as well. Amen. 
Did we miss any of your favorite Dragon Ball attacks? Let us know in those comments below. There's a whole dimension of fighting techniques that you don't know yet. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.